how are you so today we are going to do another fun activity that has been taken from your book marigold class 4 and cert from the chapter noses so open your book and turn to page number 23 what is it this is a poem that has been written by mary louis allen so let us read this poem tall ears twinkly nose tiny tail and hop he goes what is he can you guess i feed him carrots and watercress his ears are long his tail is small and he doesn't make any noise at all tall ears twinkly nose tiny tail and hop he goes so this poem is sort of a riddle they have told characteristics about a certain animal and they are asking us what is it which animal is this and the, what have they told us about this animal that it has tall ears twinkly nose tiny tail and hop he goes hop he goes the owner of this animal feeds him carrots and watercress his ears are long so the animal ears are long his tail is small and he doesn't make any noise at all it is very quiet and then again they tell us that it has tall ears twinkly nose and hop he goes so which animal is this here it is the animal is rabbit see rabbit yes you are right so the animal they are describing is the rabbit let us read the poem once again tall ears twinkly nose tiny tail and hop he goes what is he can you guess i feed him carrots and watercress his ears are long his tail is small and he doesn't make any noise at all tall ears twinkly nose tiny tail and hop he goes and the poet is mary louis allen let us see what do we have to do now write three pairs of words that rhyme with each other oh our favorite activity to find rhyming words so in each paragraph there are some rhyming words let us find all of the rhyming words and then we will write three pairs of them in the first paragraph tall ears twinkly nose tiny tail and hop he goes in this paragraph the rhyming pair is nose and goes right nose and goes rhyme with each other next we have what is he can you guess i feed him carrots and watercress in this paragraph the rhyming words are guess and watercress both of these words rhyme with each other in the third paragraph we have his ears are long his tail is small he doesn't make any noise at all so which two words are rhyming with each other can you guess you are very right so the words are small and all these words are rhyming with each other in the last paragraph similar to which is similar to the first one we have the same set of rhyming words that are nose and goes so let us write three pairs of rhyming words so the first pair was nose and goes next we have tall sorry next we have guess and watercress guess and watercress At last we have small and all small and all so the three rhyming words which we have are nose goes guess watercress and small and all small and all okay so was it a fun activity for me it really was we'll meet next time with another fun activity poem or a story